Hello guys, um, welcome back again to another fun time with Blessed. Um, I thought it cool to do Lumberjack, Total, Track Me, Medium Difficulty Room. I haven't actually done this, I just clicked the deploy and also clicked the credits and reference. Uh, you should check this reference, it's very cool stuff happening there. So the challenge is this, um, we're expected to grab the first flag and the real flag. Uh, you want to click this, <laughs> it's going to crack you up. <laughs> All right, so um, let's um, copy the IP address quickly. Um, one of the first things I would normally do is try and see if um, there is, I'll paste this over here and see if there's anything on port 80. Okay, it seems like there's something. What are you doing here? <laughs> there's nothing for you to see. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so let's bring up our terminal. And um, I think I've done it. Uh, I think I'm just going to do clear this. I do a basic end map on that IP address. Let me see what is actually if there's anything. So there's 80 and there's 22. Very cool. Okay, so we'll be going after 80, obviously. So I'm just going to go over here and do go burst. I think I have a command somewhere which I'm going to use, okay, so go burst the um, dirt, like you, the IP address, I'm just looking for quick wins, what I can find, and um, while that is running, uh, I can see, maybe I will go check uh, the page source, basically, <laughs> cool stuff, that's what I want to see, <laughs> okay, <laughs> alright, cool, so there's pretty much nothing happening there, but can I just maybe start playing with this? Uh, is there any robots? Um, let's see if I can find anything why Cooper Star is trying to show me stuff. Uh, white label error. So this is an error. Mm, okay. 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 I'm going to try pointing to the home directory. Okay, interesting. All right, so nothing is happening there. I guess we'll have to wait for Goldburst. I probably should have used Legion uh, um, because it's going to do um, the web application stuff quickly and probably find some quick wins for me. But I didn't pass any trading on this, so it might take a while. But I'm going to cut the crap. Um, I've actually played around this stuff basically, but I didn't complete it at some point. So. I think there's something on logs, so let me go look at it. All right, so no logs, no crime, go deeper. So this is where we'll be starting from. I'm going to um, set up verb suits to intercept traffic while I refresh this page. Um, go over to my verb suits instance and turn on intercept. So I'm just going to refresh this page. And um, this is the basic capture. So I'm going to take this and send over to um, repeater. And now um, I think I'm pretty much fine. I've got that going on in repeater. Uh, okay, great. So I'm going to stop the intercept and remove the proxy. I don't think I need it anymore for now. So over here, I will leave these links in the video. Um, log for shell to pretty cool stuff which you want to play around with. I'll be using the web instance to test for this exploit or test for uh, the vulnerability. Then I'll be using these exploits to exploit the vulnerability. So I'm going to leave links to these GitHub reports. You can grab them on your own. So this is what the web instance look like. I'm going to look, refresh this page. It's just for testing, so I'm testing basically. I'll start the servers, then it should give me both a DNS and also LZAP link. So I'm going to copy now. I'll be testing my results will be output output in here. So I'm going to copy this first. Uh, then I'll go over to my repeater. So first I'll try to um, attempt to inject uh, at the user agent. So I'm going to take this user agent and replace it with what I copied and see if I send this request. Um, okay, I got a 200, okay. Uh, over here on my logs, 
I didn't get anything hitting me yet. Um, so it means this doesn't, it true back that's no logs, no crime, go deeper thing. So maybe that's not a point of injection. I'm going to just go back on this. And I'll see if I can control Z on this. And I'm going to copy the DNS. Let me see if that payload will work. I'll try to inject it here as well. So I'm going to send this again. Um, I got a 200 OK again. No logs, no crime. The same thing, connection closed. So nothing is hitting this server yet. Okay, so let's try the LDAP again. But this time, let's change our injection point. I'm going to control Z on this. Then maybe I'll check the accept. Let me try to inject. I'm just going to stress this a bit so you can see it. So I'll try to inject. I'm just removing this right here. Let me see. I'll paste that over here. And I'm going to send this. And um, it doesn't seem to return anything. Let's go check if we oh great so look at that so we got a uh, heat so obviously that that point is injectable so we can see we received the dns query from west one computer amazon aws that's actually the instance of that server in triacme aws uh, platform so we see dns query received it is likely that you know for deployment support doing lookup is can lead to information leakage then also, sorry about that, it keeps refreshing. Uh, we got another one again, basically the same, but we're pointing now to 124. So look at that. The NSQL received the same information. So which means we found the point of injection, which is actually over here, the accept. So we're going to take this knowledge and go um, probably weaponize. Uh, we'll be, like I told you, I'll be working with this uh, log for shell GNDI exploits, uh, um, which is pretty cool stuff. I'll leave this link in the video. I will take this exploit on CPITS, which I've already done. I think I have it somewhere on my. So I'm going to stop this. I don't think I need this anymore. Uh, okay, that's it over there. I think I cloned the repo and I, um, on zip to have it over there in my Lumberjack THM folder. So let's try to exploit this and see how we can probably uh, grab a shell then answer the other questions okay so let's try to um, start the the JNDI exploits over here in my terminal I've got that thing listed sitting there so to start it I'm just going to use the command um, basically Java it's a Java um, execute Java file so Java I think that jar should do the magic for me so I'll pass that JNDI.java then um, if I try to run this, we can see the usage option. <clears throat> we need a local IP, which will be a turn zero IP. Then um, let's see if we can start it um, again. Tag I uh, my turn zero's IP. I'll do a quick verification. I think I've got my virtual listener here. Okay, that's my turn zero's IP. I'm going to copy that and paste that over here then i think i'll need to open up a port i'm not sure so that key i'm going to use 8082 i've got 8081 busy with my hive um so no my burp server so, because 8081 is my hive so let me see if i can stop this um if it's going to start okay starting the ldap on 1389 then 8082 okay pretty cool so um i'm going to leave this here then go over to another terminal uh, clear this screen let me see where my um, I'm gonna uh, home cyber citric document THM lumberjack okay in here I should have that file so I'm going to Java that jar the file this time around I'll use attack U flag I want to see okay that shouldn't be capital U should be a small u i want to see okay so we we can look at the options that are available for use 
139, this realization 139. I think we'll be using the base 64 version of this uh, because we'll have to encode that in to be able to run from that browser or the pub to give us a shell. So we will see if this is going to work. Let's go build this up and um, get it running. Okay, so since we're going with this option, um, we would need a reverse shell. Um, so you can see LDAP, null, pass our IP address there, the port is 1389, then the command flow. So let's go build uh, our reverse shell. I think um, we will work with um, the, probably, let's see, um, I think this should be just fine, netcats, this. Uh, uh, base 64. So I'll, I think I'll have to use CyberChef. Uh, let me look for. I could do that from a terminal actually, uh, but just to showcase CyberChef as well. Okay, using CyberChef, we can uh, base 64 encode the payload, and this is the output. So we're just going to copy this output. Um, I'm working with uh, Triadmin's attack box. Then we'll go over here and um, try to get that thing into the attack box. I have to remove this and paste this in here. I'm just going to grab this uh, and pass it into the burp suits here. Okay, that looks okay. Before I execute this, I will start up a netcat listener. Um, we had used the ports. Uh, let me do a quick verification. 88, 89 to 1. So I'm going to start up a netcat listener. Oh no. Um, let's, our server is listening, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so let's start up a netcat listener. On port 1891. Then let's uh, send this over to the server and see if we'll catch um, all right, do I keep trying to close this thing? <laughs> okay, let's see if we'll catch a callback. Let's see the response. But that doesn't go well. So I guess we have to um, check the payload and see if we had made some mistakes to get it pretty clean and okay for running. Okay, so going back to what happened, I think there, there was a problem with the burp connection and I was able to figure that out. So I got that fixed and sent the request again. And over here we can see, if we look at our LDAP server, it received that request and forwarded over the shell to us. Now we grabbed the shell, which is this. So I'm just going to export term to the X term. So I can actually clear the screen. Um, okay, great. Uh, ID we can see if I catch that uh, maybe uh, at C host name uh, we can see this looks like a container ID very pretty bad ls stack al let's see um, obviously we're in a Docker container so but let's try to grab the first flag. So I'm going to cd into roots ls stack al uh, maybe that should be in home cd into home um, I'm not sure how stable this thing is um, to be able to use the uh, locate or find command but maybe I should check off cd into off ls going to pass the command ls uh, tag al and we can see flag one so if I cut uh, dot flag one we have the content of flag one so I'm going to clear the screen I'm going to cd into uh, temp and quickly maybe ls tag al the content of dev let me see we should identify the um, root disk so we want to maybe mount this disk i'm just going to copy the name so we can go find the other flag which should be the root flag 
So where am I? I'm in temp. So right here in temp, I'm going to create, uh, make the disk one. Um, okay. So I'm going to mount um, that root file system into my disk one so I can read it from there. We can see it's DWR and all those permission stuff if you don't know what that is anyways. I've got a video on YouTube showcasing Linux permission. So let's use the mount command. Um, we're going to mount, um, I think it's in um, dev. Then I will paste that thing which I copied. Okay, and I'm going to mount these to term and uh, disk one. So let's see if that's going to mount and we can read the content in the file system. So we're able to mount it. If I ls stack al here, we can see disk one. We've been able to mount. Let's cd into disk one and ls stack al in here. Now we can see it looks different from the initial one which means we're in the root file system on the disk or on the box. Let's go find the flag. So I'm going to change to um, the root directory. Let's see the root ls stack al. Um, we can see the root flag there. So let's try, but um, the permission on it is just read. Uh, I don't know. Let's try to cut that root.txt. Oh, great. <laughs> Come on, look how that, that's pretty sad and dope in a way. <laughs> As usual, it is typical to find this and this, but this is pretty strange. So let me cd into that and see what's in there. So we've got the root flag over there. I'm just going to cut the content of what a funny way to hide stuff. F L A G 2. And then we have the flag. I'm going to copy this flag and head over to the submission panel to see if that's the root flag. Paste this in here and submit it. And great. <laughs> okay, we got that one completed. That was pretty cool and dope. Um, I like the way they had uh, probably hide the stuff um, within a container and having to. Uh, pivots from the container to the main box and also having to search for hidden contents. Uh, if you're familiar with Linux, you usually will see this, but this is a bit funny. So I just actually guessed this was something created and obviously that um, guess was correct. You see, they hide that stuff in this. Okay, uh, thanks for hanging around with me. I hope you love the content. If you do, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you maybe in the next recording. Have a great day. Bye.